What an evening. A man could fight a lion, eh? Some men could, Your Grace. Thomas, touching this matter of my divorce, have you thought of it since we last spoke? Of little else. Didn't you see your way clear to me? That you should put away Queen Catherine's sire. Oh, alas, as I think of it, I see so clearly that I cannot come with your grace that my endeavor is not to think of it at all. Then you haven't thought enough! Lilac. I have them at Hampton. Not so fine as this, though. <laughs> huh. I'm in an excellent frame of mind. Thomas, you must consider I stand in peril of my soul. It was no marriage. I have lived in incest with my brother's widow. Leviticus. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy brother's wife. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 16. Yes, Your Grace, but Deuteronomy... Deuteronomy is ambiguous. Your Grace, I'm not fitted to meddle in these matters. To me, it seems a matter for the Holy See. Oh, Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Does a man need a pope to tell him where he sinned? It was a sin. God's punished me. I've no son. Son after son, she's borne me. All dead at birth. Or dead within the month. Never saw the hand of God so clear in anything. It's my bounden duty to put away the Queen, and all the popes back to Peter shall not come between me and my duty. How is it that you cannot see? Everyone else does. Then why does Your Grace need my poor support? Because you're honest. And what is more to the purpose, you're known to be honest. There are those like Norfolk who follow me because I wear the crown. There are those like Master Cromwell who follow me because they are jackals with sharp teeth and I'm their tiger. There's a mass that follows me because it follows anything that moves. And then there's you. I'm sick to think how much I must displease your grace. Oh, Thomas, I respect your sincerity. <laughs> <laughs>